All right, so today we're gonna to do a video where we go down memory lane. Now, I have talked many times about how I worked at Michael's Arts and Crafts, and I was fired for stealing a Winnie the Pooh cake pan. And I thought, you know, I th which I didn't even need. I was like, you're coming home with me, <laughs> Mateo. Uh, but today I thought it would be fun if we went back to Michael's and down memory lane to see my very first retail job when I was 16. <laughs> Look at this. I bet you the smell is gonna bring me back because I honestly, I've not been back to a Michael since I was, <laughs> since I was 17 and I got fired. I have so many stories and I, hopefully there's like statute limitations and I don't get like sued by Michaels now, but also who the hell is going to Michaels besides like religious women in their 40s who got six kids? So I want to talk about the framing section. So now the framing section is like a very big deal at Michael's Arts and Crafts. And I was always friends with the framers because they were kind of the cool people. And I was supposed to get a job, but my manager at the time, uh, let's just say her name was Joanne Fabrics. She, first of all, she was a mess, okay? It would be July and she wore wear giant scarves. And we're like, why are you wearing scarves? Like it's 100 degrees in Chicago. And she's like, it's just so cold in here. She had hickeys all over her neck. So this is the woman trying to manage my life. And she told me that I couldn't be a framer, which I would have been a great framer because she didn't think I was good enough for my job, which she was right because i got fired for stealing but all this framing shit i mean it's all this is one of the things that i would do because i went to art school is i would buy like an already framed like shitty frame like of a painting or something and then punch it out and put my painting in god i've heard how big the framing department is we're gonna get to the good stuff in a second chris free wi-fi <laughs> Also, free employees. We barely pay them. You say free Wi-Fi as an employee. I heard free everything. So, okay, the way it would work is we, what they would do is they would do something called returns. Are we being watched? <laughs> we, would, we would do something called returns, and returns are like, the manager goes through and if something's out of place, they put it in a basket. At the end of the day, we'd have to take the item and put it back in its proper place. Well, we were 16, we didn't give a shit, we wanted to go drinking. So what did we do? We took the returns, put them in a big bag, the room out. And they're like, did you do the job? Like, we did them. Okay, so it is still called returns. Oh, paints, okay. This is basically Michael's in a nutshell. It's just glitter. And you know what? I'm sure all the employees are thrilled that Christmas is over because Christmas time, we would get a bunch of glittery shit. Glittery birds, glittery wreaths, glittery trees, glittery everything. And so glitter would be everywhere. And it was just impossible to figure out like what goes back where. So that's why we would just be like, it's enough and throw it out. Oh my God. Okay, so this is for, this is all for scrapbooking. And I just, I don't, I still don't get scrapbooking. I mean, I guess Facebook sort of took over scrapbooking, like a place to put your memories. But scrapbook, I just can't imagine being like, I'm gonna make this scrapbook that seven people are gonna see. And I need to have this pinata. Also, this pinata reminds me of Fortnite. How fitting that Mariah Carey is playing when I come in. I have never met a printer that works. I don't understand. Printers have never worked. It always stays the same. There's no communication. They give you as little as possible. I hate printers. I have never, if I bought this printer right now and the person who created it set it up for me, it still wouldn't work. Do you remember these? Where you would take like the color, like these like color, oh my God, and then you would iron them. I remember one time, so I used to teach art camp and it was in Northbrook, Chicago area, north of Chicago. And I taught art camp. I don't know how to teach, but I know how to like have fun with the kids. And so what we would do, like all the other teachers were like, we're gonna do this today and paint. And I was like, we're gonna make Pokemon out of these. So me and all the kids, cause you know, Pokemon's so popular, made the original 151 Pokemon with these. Is this still fun for kids? Like with iPads and everything? I'm just curious if like, I don't know what kids are impressed by anymore. It seems like kids just want to watch Moana seven times a day. <gasps> oh my God. This is the infamous yarn section. This is where Francesca and I broke up. I remember I dated this girl named Francesca. We're still friends. She's married with a pit bull now. She and I dated, which honestly, Francesca, if you're watching, I'm sure you knew because we went tanning together. And not to mention the fact that, I don't know who was the bigger problem here, me or her. Clearly I was gay, but she cheated on me with her ex-boyfriend who lived in his mom's basement. So I found out from a girl named what was her name? Her name was Urs No. Oh, I found it from a girl. Her name was Olga. She was from Poland and she was one of the most beautiful girls I've ever seen, but the name is really tragic. I mean, I can't be so gorgeous and your name's Olga. Anyway, she pulled me aside. She's like, I have to tell you something. Is that Francesca's cheating on you? So then I got an announcement. I was like, Francesca to the yarn section, please. And then she showed up. She's like, what is it? I'm like, this isn't gonna work. This thing, I, this is so fun for kids. 
you know but it's just not fair because everything is so like kids get these like cool ass dragons everything's like designed so well i feel like when we were kids like our action figures were that i mean we were a step above the 80s you know we're gi joe but I, it was still this and to make storm's arms go up because they had to go up so she could summon the storms i broke all of my action figures and by action figures i just had storm sort of like clientele where I was working in Chicago, it was in Mount Prospect, that Michaels, I think it's gone under probably because of me. I remember most of our clientele were like women in their early hundreds who were coming to return a single bead. So they would come back, they had their one bead, they'd wait in the long line and they'd get there and they'd be like, I want to return this bead. And I'm like, just take it. Like, also, I want to say, we weren't allowed to have normal music when we worked at Michael's. Oh no, they had a Michael's playlist for us. So it was some bullshit piano music that felt like I was watching the 700 Club, if you know what that is. Yikes. So, it's not even fair that they get like real music. By the way, there's a woman shopping here. I think she thinks we're following her because we've been going around the whole time. But bitch, what are you looking for? So, um, oh, is this the wedding section? This is the wedding section. So in my Michaels, the wedding section was where my friend Mike Roscoff and I would get together and have like secret meetings and by secret meetings, which you know, stole. But um, I remember we used to have our friends come to Michaels. The thing is they had like, see like the security cameras and stuff. So we had those, but they were like the eighties ones. So they were really big, right? So we wanted to make sure that they weren't there. So we would take rocks from the mosaic section and throw them up and then they would break and there was no camera behind it. So we're like, oh, okay, so we can take. So we had our friends come in and they would just fill carts up and then we would swipe their student ID and let them go. look, I, I grew up in Chicago. <laughs> I just can't imagine like having your special wedding day and being like, where did you get these from? And you're like, Michael's on 6th Avenue and 21st Street. This is just Greeks and Italians, no. <laughs> this is the seasonal section. So we've obviously moved Christmas out and now it's Valentine's Day. Hmm, not as intense. This is the kind of tub in my first apartment in New York City that I had in my kitchen. I lived in a tenement apartment where I had a bathtub in my kitchen. And not like an architectural digest, like, isn't this gorgeous? Like, I was living like a Polish immigrant from 1940. I forgot all the stuff that they have here at Michael's. Lavender fields. No. This kind of stuff I can get behind, you know, like fake fruit. And I don't know if it's the Italian nonna in me, but I like fake fruit. I might buy some fake fruit, actually. Should I? I have some fake oranges in my, um, what's better, oranges or apples? I know, so like maybe I should replace it, because apples are more fun, I think, right? Should I do oranges and apples? You know what? No, oranges and lemons. What do we think of that? I have a bowl where I put fake fruit in. I like oranges and lemons, or apples and lemons, or should I do orange? What do we think? What if I just did all this fruit? Is this too much? You think so? I gotta make a quick decision. You're right, I'm just gonna, even though orange is my favorite color. You have fake ones. But they're too orange. They're like neon orange. These feel a little more sensible. Here's what I'm gonna do. I got it. Whatever the hell this is supposed to be. Got it. What 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 fruit is this? I don't know what the, it just says fruit. It just says faggot. <laughs> fruit holding the fruit? When I was a kid I used to love roses. <laughs> I did. Nothing's changed. I could still, you had to wear an apron. Here's how you know you're gay. I saw these buckets and I thought about melting a witch. Does that even make sense to you? <laughs> Here we go. Oh, this is kind of fun. I could get behind this, you know? Michael's is full of stuff that no one needs. Michael's is a mix of want and need. Do you want stuff in Michael's? Yes, this is kind of fun. That would be really fun. Do I need any of it? No. Also, if you are buying anything that says sparkle, glitter on me. That is a one, like in the Venn diagram of drag queens and Michael's employees, they both understand that you cannot escape glitter. I might buy flowers too. You're slow. Here's how you can tell that the employees here at Michael's don't give a shit that they saw this and thought, yeah. All right, let's see, because I already have yellow flowers. I have orangey yellow flowers. Would it look good to have pink with it? Something else kind of warm? <laughs> now Chrissy and I are just married. I could get sunflowers. Okay, so now, now this is where we, or this kind of, but this looks too fake. I think over here we're getting a little more real. Oh, I didn't even see this section. Oh, here we go. The baking section. Now this really is PTSD because this is where it all went very wrong for me in my career at Michael's. I could have been like CEO of Michael's in Mount Prospect, Illinois, but I still love Winnie the Pooh cake pan. I don't think they do themed cake pans anymore. It's a little like Costco here, like nothing makes sense. Like there's cake pans on that wall, but then there's beaded necklaces on that wall. 
Like nothing really makes sense. These might be more, oh God, not my fruit. This is kind of fun. Where do you put everything? Where are you putting everything? I just, that's, the, the, I, I'm so the opposite of a hoarder. I really am. I'm like, what are we putting this for? Like if we have one shirt that we don't want, I'm like, Rodrigo, do you need this? He's like, what I like? I'm like, are you wearing it? He's like, no. Oh, here's all the, the ingredients. So this is meltables. <gasps> that's kind of fun. This is fro, see, I like this shit. You melt it, and then there you go. That's kind of fun, right? I'm not quite sure what the flavor is. This is peanut butter, pumpkin spice. That's enough already with the pumpkin spice. See, this is cool. Look, you can do Maleficent, the evil witch from Snow White. She gets twice because of her transformation. That's unfair. It is. This is the only Michaels in New York City. Well, I guess Michaels is better than Hobby Lobby because Hobby Lobby's like, we don't like bags. I just want to say that this for three things of fruit was $45. Back in my day, it was free. Well, you know, it's nice to go back down memory lane today and go to Michael's. Um, not much has changed, actually. I think the only thing that has changed is that they can listen to real music. So I think that would have made the experience more enjoyable. I remember when I was working there, Mariah Carey's Emancipation of Mimi just came out, so I would put it in one headphone and listen to it while I was doing work. But yeah, Michael's, that was a good time. Like and subscribe. <laughs>